On behalf of those of you who are receiving Social Security, I ask that you please keep your caps on. You might potentially put an additional $2,400 in your pocket as a result of the alarming facts that was just published by Congress. Without a shadow of a doubt, you are going to be presented with a beautiful change of $2,000 or more. You seem to be curious. In all honesty, you ought to be. Furthermore, it is not merely an issue of having spare change on hand. There is a possibility that the topic that we are currently discussing will have an effect on the retirement plans of millions of different people. In a few moments, I will present you with a detailed explanation of what this means for you, your family, and the future of Social Security in the United States. I will also explain what this implies for everyone else. Hold on to that spot, for I shall explain you. This is a chance that you won't want to pass up, and I can assure you of that assurance. To all of you, please accept my warmest invitation to come back to the channel. It is highly recommended that you visit this channel in order to acquire the most recent information regarding the many programs that are designed to stimulate the economy. This day we would like to talk to you about a few fascinating topics that we have been thinking about. First things first, before we go into the modifications that have been made today, check to see that you have clicked the button to subscribe and that you have activated the notification bell. It is because of this that you will never find yourself in a situation where you are lacking an update on anything that is associated with stimulation. In spite of the fact that things are challenging, we want to make sure that you are properly informed and in control of. The situation. In that case, would you kindly allow us to get started right away? A subject that has the potential to have an effect on the lives of millions of individuals in the United States is going to be the subject of our in-depth discussion tonight. There will be an additional distribution of $2,400 made to individuals who are currently receiving payments from Social Security. In order to get things started, let's begin with the headline that has been the focus of the most substantial amount of conversation. In light of a startling remark that was just made by the United States Congress, it is likely that those who are now receiving Social Security benefits would be eligible to earn an additional $2,400 of benefits. To each and every one of you, this is not in any way a minor adjustment. Inside the context of this discussion, we are discussing a substantial increase that has the potential to have a positive impact on the lives of more than 60 million individuals living inside the federal government of the United States. Which individuals will be impacted and why is this a matter of such importance? It's possible that you're wondering about something right now. I would like to know the specific audience that this is directed toward. The information presented here is of utmost importance for the more than 60 million persons in the United States who are recipients of. Social Security benefits. They are the hard-working individuals who have been able to accomplish this goal, and they are the Americans who have given their entire lives to the development and prosperity of our nation. The foundations of our communities are comprised of the people who are a part of them, including our parents, grandparents, neighbors, and other members of our community. But the unpleasant reality of the matter is that this is the case. There are a few of these honorees who are among the members of our community who have the most difficulty defending themselves. On fixed incomes, they are the ones who have the most trouble making ends meet, and they are also the ones who are impacted the hardest by inflation throughout this time period. This rise which is being offered has the potential to be the much needed lifeline for them. There is a possibility that this raise will be accepted by members in the group who are accountable for the plan. Who then is deserving of our gratitude for this idea that has the potential to completely alter the course of the game? Let us take advantage of this occasion to introduce Senator Elizabeth Warren, a progressive Democrat who hails from Massachusetts, and Senator Bernie Sanders, an independent firebrand who hails from Vermont. And it would appear that these two individuals who have been steadfastly campaigning for the extension of Social Security may finally be beginning to see benefits of their efforts. There was not simply an increase in revenue, but also a more comprehensive image. However, hold on to your hats, because this attempt is about more than just merely putting additional money into the pockets of citizens. They hope that by signing this law, they will be able to accomplish something absolutely remarkable. They will be able to extend Social Security till the end of the 21st century. This is the objective that these senators editors have set for themselves through this legislation. In point of fact, we are already having a discussion about the means by which we this can guarantee that this essential initiative will be handed on to following generations. In addition, that is not the finish of the story. Additionally, the legislation proposes significant modifications to the monthly income that is received by all those who are considered to be recipients of Social Security benefits. On the other hand, the advantages are not limited to the people who are currently receiving them. In addition, this is a piece of good news for those of us who are not currently getting payments from Social Security, but who may in the years to come. There is a value of $1 million associated with the question. Is it possible to factor that into the budget? I can understand and respect what you are contemplating at this very moment. With that being said, despite the fact that it seems like a fantastic idea, how are we going to pay for all of this? In a moment, my dear friends, things are about to take a turn for the extremely exciting. The law that is being proposed would include a tax rate of 12.4% that would be applied to the income that is made from investments by individuals who have high incomes. In the context of this discussion, we are referring to unmarried persons who have an annual income of $200,000 or more, as well as married couples who have a combined income of $250,000 or more. 
Furthermore, the establishment of this new tax would not only help to level the playing field, but it would also guarantee that those persons who have gained the most from our economy would contribute appropriately to this program that is of critical importance. It is not the end of the matter, however. A number of problems that have lasted. For a considerable amount of time with the current social security system are going to be addressed by this piece of legislation. One of these problems is the limit that is placed on the payroll tax. An exemption from paying the maximum social security payroll tax rate is granted to individuals whose annual incomes are greater than $160,200. At this moment, this is the circumstance. In the event that this barrier is gradually raised to $25,000 by the year 2035, as the proposal indicates, then the maximum payroll rate will be applied to all income. The most defenseless individuals are the ones who stand to benefit from this. In addition to this, this is still another intriguing facet of the subject that is being discussed. Consideration is being given to. Raising the special minimum benefit to 125% of the federal poverty criterion. This is something that is now being studied. That is similar to $18,000 for a single person who has worked throughout their entire life when presented in terms that are more grounded in reality. On the other hand, it is likely that this modification will be a game changer for those who have put in a lot of effort throughout their whole careers but still struggle to make ends meet once they reach the age of retirement. The possibility of an increase of $2,400 on a yearly basis is one of the consequences that this could occur. For the moment, let's go back to the sum of $2,400 that was discussed in the media. Calculations submitted by Senator Sanders' office have resulted in the following estimate of the average annual increase in social security payments that could be brought about by this law. This estimate is presented below. There are millions of people in the United States who may benefit from an additional $200 each month, which could be used to better their diet, their health care, or even just their mental health. Friends, there is an immediate and critical need for action. The importance of this subject is one that I cannot emphasize enough, and I cannot stress it enough. In the event that nothing is done to solve the matter, the Social Security Trust Fund may be emptied by the year 2033, as stated in a warning that was issued by the Congressional Budget Office. There is a the possibility that this would lead to a catastrophic reduction of 23% in payouts for all customers who have filed claims. We are having this discussion about a crisis that may occur within the next 10 years. This crisis could take occurred at any time. Having said that, I will now share some excellent news with you. Through the execution of this approach, we have the opportunity to improve Social Security for future generations and to avert the catastrophe that is currently taking place. The following is a list of the actions that are available to you. As a result, what are some of the things that you could do to assist in bringing this concept to fruition? The most important thing you can do is to make sure you are always up to date. Could you please pass this information along to the people who are important to you when a bigger number of people are aware of the issues that are now? Being faced, we will be able to exert a greater amount of pressure on our elected representatives to take action. In a second place, make sure that your point is understood. In order to communicate with your delegates, you can either call them, write them, or send them an email. It would be beneficial for you to let them know that you are in support of expanding and enhancing Social Security funds. Remember at all times that you are the one who is employing them. In conclusion, I would want to continue with the conversation. Have a discussion with people who are a part of your community about this matter. In the event that there is a growing amount of discussion around it, it becomes progressively more difficult for politicians to ignore it. Companions, the current instant is a defining moment in time. It is possible that the decisions that are made in Washington will have an impact on the financial security of millions of people in the United States throughout the course of.